Foster Harris is the author of The Basic Formulas of Fiction. That's a 1944 book, also uh, published by the University of Oklahoma Press. Fiction writer who, for a dozen or more years, has contributed to some two-score national magazines and has been rated by his editors as one of the ten leading American writers for pulp magazines. Professor of Journalism at the University of Oklahoma, where he conducts a creative writing laboratory, which Writers Digest has called the best college resident school for teaching writing in the United States. Students from his laboratory have sold faction fiction to most of the leading periodical markets, including the Saturday Evening Post, Cosmopolitan, The New Yorker, Red Book, Ladies Home Journal, and others in the quality field, and to dozens of pulp magazines, including Argosy, Adventure, and True, to name only three. So, he uh, teaches mainly the three types of plot, A, B, and C, and here is the uh, Type A is the happy ending. And this is a Rapaho Indian folk tale, which was published in a, a book by uh, Walter Campbell and in 1929. And Campbell seems to be the first to have, he actually went out and, and got the story. So here is a very lazy Indian. Um, Repo. I'm Cherokee myself, but uh, so this is a Rapaho story, and uh, uh, the uh, story is about the lazy Indian. He's the cook. He has a pony because he's got to carry all the cooking gear, and. Uh, they're looking for a treasure, the rest of the tribe, the men, and um, uh, the lazy Indian asks an anthill, and they tell him where the treasure is. So the, he tells the war party, and they're going to attack the camp, and uh, he stays where he is. So the warriors go, and they attack the camp, uh, the village, and... Uh, while they're fighting over there, everybody's over on the other side. The lazy Indian steals the treasure and takes all the ponies. And uh, they, uh, his tribe gets on ponies and they all go back. And he ties himself to his pony so he can sleep while they go home. The others lead him in. And he's demonstrated that laziness profits more than ambition. That's type A. Happy ending. Unhappy endings. Let's see. Well, this one's by Joseph Conrad. I'm not going to go to that. This one is pretty interesting here. The type C. Backward plot. House of Agony. Luigi Perindello. I'm not going to go into this too much. He goes into it in some detail, a lot more than is in this little note here. But um, there's a cat and a potted plant in their fifth story apartment room, and the cat's going to knock the potted plant out and kill somebody. And uh, it does. The guy can't stand it, he leaves, and the cat jostles the pot, the pot falls on him. Yeah. And he dies. Now, remember, these are the kind of stories that are published in either Saturday Evening Post, Cosmo, or Argosy Adventure or True. Well, here's one by Chekhov, The Work of Art. 
uh, I, uh, the uh, grateful uh, patient gives a bronze candelabra uh, to the doctor. Doctor is not grateful, and he gives it away, and it keeps being given away until the patient comes across it and buys it and gives it to the doctor. And says now you got a pair of candelabra. So. Is that what you want to write today? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe there's somebody that wants to read that kind of story. The backward plot. <laughs> so there's happy endings, unhappy endings, and backward plot. I think those are unhappy. But this is a good book if you want to write uh, short stories. <laughs>